hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing something new i will be installing a wig and this wig is from all of here this wig is the bomb.com this is like my third time getting this wig and i promise you guys if you get this wig you will not regret it it's super soft and it's like really full listen thank me later get this wig and thank me later i'll leave all the information in the description box on how you can purchase this wig my shirt bob wig from all of here and i've been getting a lot of requests on how i install my wigs so i'm just going to be showing you guys a quick video on how i do that also i just want to show you guys the wig a little bit before i start installing it it comes with two combs at the front and one at the back it also comes with an adjustable strap if you want it to be tight you can put it at the last one that's where i usually put mine at the very last i'm just going to get right into showing you guys how i apply this bad boy you just wanna oh before like you want to try and tame your natural hair as much as possible i know mine isn't really perfect right now but you want to at least apply some eco style gel to your hair and brush it back so it doesn't interrupt the process of gluing down the wig. And so I'm going to get right into showing you guys how I cut off the excess lace on the wig. What I usually do just so I don't mess up or overcut the lace is you can take a, a, a eyeliner or a lip liner or anything that can be used to mark so you want to start marking let me just show you so you want to start making your mark On how you want to cut the lace and be mindful that you're going to be cutting behind the mark that you're making just so you don't have this uh, this pencil thing all right this mark on it So what I'm going to do now is take it off again. I know I look crazy. And you're just going to start cutting behind where you made the mark. So this mark is kind of to help you guys when you don't want to like mess up or spoil the wig. Because these things cost money. Okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but I'm just cutting the lace behind the mark. All right. I hope this helps. The first time you cut the lace, it's like a trial and error type thing. Okay, so we're going to start with from this end, but I'm trying to create 
my sideburns right before I start gluing it. So I'm trying to, you know, have that nice. You want to do the same thing for this side so I'm trying to take out the amount of hair that I need for my side braids and kind of position it Also going to tie it down for a couple minutes to kind of get this part to melt more into my skin but before I do that I think I might add some baby hair I'm just going to use um, my razor and kind of shave some of this hair off. Bush. I'm not going to cut this side, I'm just going to swoop it in.
like squeeze in between here so I can like create a part that looks more natural. gel because if the area gets extra wet then the the lace will start lifting because remember the freezing spray holds but if anything wet touch the area or water touch the area then it will start lifting so if you sweat a lot i don't recommend that you use this but usually the other glues are too harsh they're super harsh and it gave me like a reaction and I didn't really get like bumps and all kind of crazy stuff so I kind of stopped using those and just like stick to the freezing spray doesn't last long can last a good two days if you don't let water touch it but if you're looking for something lasting you don't want to use this so now i'm going to go ahead and tie down the baby hair and melt that lace into my skin went off camera and added you know a few curls and a light makeup ready to show you guys the finishing look ooh ooh sis uh uh so this is how I like to style it how I like to wear my um short wigs and there is no like specific way that I curl it I like literally run the iron through it and bend the end like really messy no specific pattern to it So guys, if you enjoyed this video and you love this week, like, comment, and subscribe, and please leave request in the comment section, and I will be sure to add all the products that I used in the description box. So guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.